Hello Stick Insect fans, this is my first video. Hooray, we like that. Right, bit of a national tribute there. Uh, right. Here are my Stick Insects. Um, you probably can't see them seeing as they are sticks and this thing is full of sticks. But they're in here somewhere. Here's Vic. My oldest one. Sorry about the camera view. This is my first video, I'll get used to it. I have got another account, but I don't do filming on it. Right. This is Vic, she's not very lively right now. She is, I don't know how old she is, she's, she's never shed before. This tank's I got her when she was fully grown. And she's now actually laying eggs, which I'll show you later. Oh, the joy of focus. That this camera doesn't have. I have a really old flip. And I'll be getting the new Fuji HS20 soon enough, hopefully. Which is better. Oh, she's waking up now. Anyway, I've had her for quite a while. She's laying eggs. She's fully grown. She's an Indian stick insect. And for those who are wondering, yes, she is named after the drumsticks, Vic Firth. Because I am a drummer. Which is awesome. Right. The others are in here. I won't get them out, I'll show them, actually no I will. I have Sir Brambles here, my second oldest, who's very hyperactive compared to the last one we just saw. Sir Brambles is a, I don't know how old he is, I think he'd shed once when I got him and he shed quite a few times now I've had him. And he's hyperactive, Sir Brambles. It was originally called Brambles, but they all have last names. Like Rick Stick is the other one. And this is Sir Brambles. I do give them weird names. Not as weird as my friend. He called, I've given him some of my eggs, and he's calling one Larry the Llama and one Sally the Sheep, which is a bit strange, I think, but you know. He's not weird, he's gifted. And I'm very good at this camera job right now. I'm absolutely brilliant, you know. I shall work for the BBC. This is Rick here. Rick has shed like two times. Quite a mini man. Bigger than he used to be, I think. He was like an ant when I got him. I think he I don't think he even shed once when I'd had him. But he's like he's alright. Bit mental. He falls off a lot. Fell into my top drawer once, that was hell. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Now I've given you an introduction to the gang of my three stickies. I'll tell you, in case you're wondering, maybe you're already a stick and set fan, but I'm going to tell you how to look after them. On the bottom I usually have dirt as substrate, something that absorbs the water. I've heard sand's bad, so to use something that absorbs it well. Uh, I use tissue, because I, I do have dirt. I use tissue now because I can see the eggs easier. And this needs washing out. It is covered in dirt from last time though because I just whacked the tissue on after getting rid of the dirt. Um, yeah. And now uh, I have ivy. You can have privet. You can have oak. You can have brambles. Brambles are the best I've heard. But I did have brambles. But they're a pain in the bum when you're trying to get a stick and set out the bottom. And they're ripping your hands apart. It's really, really annoying. So I wouldn't recommend using brambles. Well, I would actually, because they're healthy, but... Well, it depends on the preferences. I use ivy. It's just easier, and it looks kind of cool. I have an oasis here. Which is just this sponge thing, and I have it in a pot. And I stab these into it, and you just fill it with water, and you sort of spray it with water. I have... Where is my squirty? This is my squirty thing. You have to spray them twice daily. I've already sprayed them, but I'll just do it for an example anyway. Just get set. Oh, my number plate. Hooray! Right, um, if you're wondering about that, I found it. Um, right. You spray it like this. It's very simple. You do that. I do it twice daily because it gets a bit dry during the night. And then. Um, what 
I usually do as well is I got put it on stream mode because this thing's extremely posh, you know. People have paid millions for this, and I squirt the Oasis. Simples. Now, if you see them shedding, do not disturb them because that's the last thing you want to do because it can kill them, and it might make the shedding go wrong. They can they can lose legs as long as you have some legs. At least they have. They they're very. As long as they have legs, they're fine. If they have one leg, obviously there's something wrong. And they might not be able to lift, but, you know. Um, that's pretty much it. Wait, I need to... In memory of Pritt Stick. So, um, he was my... One of my stick insects that I got with Vic. And he... He died a painful death. He didn't have very good coordination, and he fell off one too many branches. Forget about these, these were when they were younger. So I'm still going to get out. Right then, now for my eggs. I'm only only bringing up one, but I've got a temporary heater thing. Which is a lamp and a shelf. <laughs> which is interesting, really. Let's get this open. Um, I'm getting a heater. Wait for the white balance to kick in. That stuff. Let's just take these off for a second. Um, these are my eggs. So I can't get very good focus. This camera has no focus. Could I zoom into them? Still not focused. Anyway, more about these. These are my eggs. I have six in here right now. I'm going to be selling them. I'm not selling them online, by the way. I get people asking that. It's just no. I'm not selling them online because I don't like the idea of sending them in a package where they have no looking after. And there's an ivy leaf in case they do hatch, which I don't think they will. I've heard they can hatch within like five weeks or six weeks, but I've also heard they can hatch like within nine months. So I have no idea when these are actually going to hatch. But I'm only keeping one anyway, because I don't want to have too many stick insects, you know. Too much. <laughs> But yeah, that's about it. I don't usually have these here. I just moved it because it was easier. I'll take them to where they usually belong. They belong here. Oh, but I killed something. Which isn't usually good. I usually live here with this really cool light. Light stuff, light on. Light stuff, light on. It looks really cool. It doesn't on camera though. Hmm. Strange. But yeah, that's basically my stick insects. I'll be updating you on these often on my new YouTube channel. And please don't like, offend me, trolls. They say, oh, you're so stupid. You... I don't know. Um, what did I go wrong? Your camera's bad. Um, no, can, uh, this is my first video. I'm not exactly doing this for a living, am I? So I'm just using a crappy old camera. <sighs> so... Please don't trolls, because I don't like trolls. Trolls are evil. And I don't know why I'm still filming it, because this is just going to attract trolls, just sitting here filming it and talking about trolls. So I should stop talking about trolls and actually end the video. So goodbye.